Hello guys and welcome to the Oddspedia channel. In this channel you often find tips to get your bets right in the most important football tournaments. Now it's time to avoid mistakes when betting. Let me tell you the 10 most common mistakes when placing your bets. Everything now. Of course, there are several ways to make mistakes when you are placing your bets, something that can lead you to more losses. And I'm not talking about bagging Norwich in the Premier League or betting against Real Madrid in the Champions League, no. You will see other common mistakes that even myself commit. First one, and very important one, get the best odds. Perhaps you've already opened an account in one bookie a long time ago and you always bet with this very same bookie. But trust me, you should compare the odds and get the higher ones. The difference can be huge and in the long run you would not lose a lot of money. Of course, in our website you will find a great odds comparison with the best odds in your country. You should manage your bankroll efficiently. Set an amount to bet and always stick to this very same amount. If your unit is 5 euros, always place bets with the amount of 5 euros. We have a, a video actually for bankroll management that can be very useful for you. Number three, don't chase your losses. If you've lost a bet, this is okay, this kind of thing happens, but don't double up in the next one or bet immediately without analyzing all the factors. The road will end up with you losing even more money. Don't bet when you are drunk. It might seem obvious, but many of us have a betting app on our phone. We go out and there is an NBA game, for instance, a tennis game, or we talk about the next football match. Okay, talk, but don't bet. Many times you'll regret and will end up placing high stakes. And also, I won't recommend betting on your beloved team games. You will get very emotional and that is not a good idea when betting, believe me. I lost some real money when betting on Real Madrid games. Don't bet in unfamiliar sports or competitions. You might be an expert in football, but know nothing about basketball. But there is this game on TV and you wanna bet in the NBA? All right, it's not a good idea, my friend. Or perhaps you want to bet in the Bulgarian league, but you know nothing about Ludogores or Chernomore. So find another competition that you are familiar with. Also, don't go crazy for ACAS. It might be tempting seeing your betting pay slip with potential returns of 1000 euros, for instance, but this is gambling or playing the lottery. Stick to smaller ACAS. Use the cash out future use the ACA insurance, etc. But don't go for really big ACAs. For instance, we propose to you some small ACAs in every single video. Stick to them, it's a better idea. Number seven, be careful where you bet. Perhaps you love, you love one bookie, but it's not legal in your country. I strongly recommend you against betting on sites that are not legal in your country, especially if you live in a country where betting is accepted and controlled by the authorities. In that case, bet on reputable bookies and you won't have problems when withdrawing your money. Be aware of the gambler's fallacy. This means that no matter if we are flipping a coin, and 10 times is heads, the next one should be tails because it's time for that. This is not how it works. There is always a 50% chance in a flip coin to see heads or tails. Same with sports betting. Don't think that because this tennis player has lost the last five points, now it's time to win it. Take this in consideration. 
it's important to take advantage of the bonus offered by the bookies. If you are betting online, you will have the chance to use a welcome bonus, Anaka Insurance, Enhance Odds, Odds Boosters, and so on and so on. You will get many times your money back or win bigger if your bet is correct. And last one, finally, get informed. Look for stats, experts, tipsters, team news, etc. before placing your bet. An informed better is more likely to be profitable in the long run. And of course, in this channel, we offer you many tips for the main football competitions. Do you make this kind of mistakes? Would you add another one? Let me know in the comment section what you think and don't forget to subscribe of course. Thanks for watching and see you very soon.